So I wanted to save some time, so I've already applied my foundation. And I so if you want to see like a foundation application, you can see that on my previous videos. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the contour and the eye makeup that I'm doing. For contouring, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Contour Palette. So I'm picking up the darker shade with a Real Techniques foundation brush. And then since I have a long nose, I want to make it shorter. So I apply a little bit of the dark contour cream to the tip of my nose to lift the nose up a little bit. Then to blend all the dark contour parts, I'm going to use my damp beauty blender and I'm going to use the butt of the beauty blender or whatever you want to call it. the darker contour parts are blended I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me with the MAC Prep and Prime highlighting pen in the shade Light Boost. And I'm also applying that under the darker parts of my contour to bring yeah. out the contour. Then moving on to my Prep and Prime highlighting pen. So now that I've applied the highlighting concealers, I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender and using the pointed tip. So now that I'm finished with the cream contour, I'm just going to set the uh, contour. So I'm just going to take my NYX HD Translucent Powder. So I'm just using a angled powder brush by Bodilium Tools. This one is the 990. And to set the contour parts, I'm going to use the Hoola Benefit bronzer. And I'm actually going to use the brush that comes with it because it's perfect to contour with. So don't throw these away. And then I'm taking some of that on a Makeup Revolution powder brush. I'm going for highlighter. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate. So cheap, and they make the best highlighters. So with my NYX fan brush. And I'm going to take a generous amount and then I'm going to spray some Fix Plus because that makes the highlighter pop even more. So moving on to blush, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I'm just going to take that on a blush brush from Bedelium Tools called 964. 
So I'm applying the blush in between the contour and the highlighter that I've And then to just blend everything, I'm taking the powder brush and just blending. So now that the face is done, I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. And so I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm going to use my MAC Pink Pot in Soft Ochre. So moving on to eyeshadows, I'm going to use the Morphe 35K palette. And so I'm using this color as my transition shade. A, so I'm applying that transition color with a 224 brush by MAC. Feel it in the sunrise, even in the nighttime. A little bit of that more reddish brown to warm up the crease. And for that shade, I'm using the Morphe M513 brush. It's hard to adjust now, cause you went around. So then switching to that 224 brush and I'm just going to blend the... So now I'm going to apply the Maybelline color tattoo in the shade Eternal Gold. And while that is still tacky, I'm going to apply the lid shade. And for the main lid color, I'm going to use the Morphe 35U palette. And I'm going to use the green oh wait, lid shade. I'm using the Zoeva Smoky Shader Brush. In Do that to you real nice. How do you like a new tone? The green eyeshadow is laid. I'm, gonna, I'm going to make it blend into the crease. So I'm taking the same Morphe brush M513 and I'm applying a darker shade to blend the green up to the crease. I'm going to go for this one over here. How do you like a new tone? And then blending in between with the MAC 224 brush. Just know, cause you ain't around. I'm going to apply a little bit of the more vibrant green to the center of my lids. When will I see you, see you, see you again? I'm just going to take my Morphe M5. 106 brush which is a really tiny brush and I'm going to use this to darken the outer and inner corner of my eyes. Brown, I'm going to take this one over here. I just want to hold your hand. Yeah. When will I see you, see you, see you again? So now to intensify the green a little bit more, I'm just reapplying to the center. So moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to smoke that as well. So I'm going to apply the same colors that I applied to my crease. So I'm going to start off by applying the lighter shade and then this one. First I'm using a Zoeva Defined Crease 224. Then moving on to the reddish brown and for this color I'm using the Zoeva Detail Shader 237 brush. Then with a flat brush from Badillium Tools number 714 I'm going to take that dark brown eyeshadow that I used. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer. And to highlight the brow bone, I'm taking this shade over here from the 35K palette with a Zoeva Soft Definer 227 brush. So now I'm just uh, lining my waterline with a Anastasia Beverly Hills waterproof eye pencil. So 
So off camera I've applied mascara and then I applied some false lashes. <coughs> so moving on to lips. So I'm starting off by applying NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. So then I'm going to mix two NYX soft lip creams. One is London and the other one is Buenos Aires. So I'm applying the London shade first. Baby, I'm not here to start a fight, but I just thought I and just to give it a little bit more of a peachy tone, I'm applying a little bit of this one. So here's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to see some more, be sure to subscribe and like my video if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Boy, I can't